boom, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! <laughs> Guys, Hu Tao is absolutely broken. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this. With my free to play Hu Tao, I'm at 37k HP, 2500 attack, 63% crit rate, and 177% crit damage. And this is before I use my E ability. Now take a look at this. Bam, I pop this. 4,400 attack, guys, just from an E ability. That's it. I can't believe as a free-to-play player, I have access to such a ridiculous character. Okay, just kidding, guys. I just wanted to make a point, and that's kind of what this video is going to be about because all I've been seeing on YouTube from all the content creators is these huge numbers from Hu Tao and just how absolutely broken she is. Is she an amazing DPS? Yes, she is. Does she have cons? Yes, she does. Is she an amazing character even for a free-to-play player? Yes, she is. But there's a lot of things that aren't being covered and I feel like I have to address in this video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a realistic Hu Tao with realistic stats and a realistic weapon that most players have. If you guys are whales, this video doesn't apply to you. Feel free to dislike. I don't care. But if you guys are just normal players, you know, you're just hanging out, you pulled your favorite character, this is what she's going to look like. So you guys saw, with the Staff of Homa, I had 2,500 attack, and when I used my E ability, I had 4,500 attack. That's absolutely insane, okay? There's, it's just ridiculous how uh, crazy Refinement 5 Staff of Homa is. And that's what a lot of uh, content creators are using to highlight how good Hu Tao is. Does it make her broken? Yes, it does. But obviously, if you're spending thousands of dollars on the game, it should. But maybe you're just casually playing, you know, you spent 20 bucks here and there, you bought a battle pass, and you have the death match. You're like, why not? Let's see how good that is. So my attack went from 2,500 to 1,300. So basically I lost a thousand attack with a single weapon. Okay, and then when I activate my E ability, instead of having 4,500 attack, and now my attack's at 2,900, which is still crazy, right? And that's what I want to highlight. Even at C0, keep in mind this is a C0 Hu Tao. I'll give it to you guys, it is Refinement 3, but we're gonna take a look at a different weapon as well. Now let's go ahead and switch to something like the Black Cliff. Maybe you haven't bought the Battle Pass, you've been saving your Star Glitter, how does that look like? 2690 when I'm using my E ability, which is still really, really good, but nothing compared to the 4400 you guys saw earlier with the Staff of Homa. Now, this 2690 attack might seem like a lot, but how does it look like in application? Let's find out. In terms of my overall stats, I'm at 63% crit rate and 160% crit damage. This is really achievable, especially if you're running the uh, Black Cliff Pole. I opted for a crit rate circlet, and that's because Hu Tao gets passive crit rate. And if you're running a weapon such as the Black Cliff, you don't really need additional crit damage. Because say I had a crit damage circlet right here, but my crit rate is only 38%, which in a real life scenario, you're not really going to be critting that much. So that's why I prefer using a crit rate circlet. Again, this all comes down to your substats. Maybe you got crazy lucky with your crit rate substats and you can afford to go crit damage, then that's awesome for you. You should go it. But for me, and I think most players, at least with the Black Cliff Pole, going the crit rate circlet is the best move. Now, how good is this Hu Tao gonna be? Let's go ahead and find out. So first, let's go ahead and look at a Vaporize Hu Tao. So 18K with their dash with Vaporize. Now let's do the same thing, but this time let's go ahead and look at Melt. Okay, that's 24K with Kaya. With Vaporize, we hit a little less. We hit 18k compared to 24k. But in my opinion, it's so much easier to do Vaporize, especially with Sing Chu, even though Melt might hit a bit harder. And now just to give you guys an idea of how much different it is using a Refinement 5 weapon, you guys already saw the stat difference, but I want to go ahead and show you guys in application how that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my Staff of Homa just to show you guys. So 32k with the Charge Attack, Vaporize, Staff of Homa. That's an our even our flowers are hitting for 15k, which is kind of ridiculous. That's already higher than our Black Cliff with Melt. So now let's go ahead and see how much Melt damage we do with the Staff of Homa. So 43k with our Charge Attacks with Melt. As you guys can see, I'm basically doing double the damage with Staff of Homa. And that just goes to show how crazy weapons can be. Okay, now that we've seen the numbers against a Ruin Guard, let's go ahead and step it up and fight an actual boss, such as a Cryo Regisvine. Okay, and as you guys can see, I was absolutely melting that guy. I almost hit 100k with my burst. Now let's go ahead and see how that damage looks like with a more realistic Hu Tao and a Black Cliff weapon. And with the Black Cliff, you're going to notice my damage is going to be a lot less compared to the Refinement 5 Staff of Homa. 
but it's still gonna be pretty good. So we're hitting like 3 to almost 8k with our basic attacks. Our charge attack is 18k. And then our burst is 53k. So it's about half of what it was with the Staff of Homa. Uh, maybe a little more than half, but... But as you guys can see, it's still really, really good. And that's kind of what I wanted to show with this video, right? I don't want to go too in-depth about what's better for Hu Tao, Melt, or Vaporize, or what, what's the best artifact set, and what's the best weapon. I'm going to make future videos about all of that. In this video, I really wanted to highlight what Hu Tao is good at and how good she is at a realistic level. Because all I'm seeing on YouTube and all the content creators have these crazy whale-like weapons and these crazy artifact substats. And they're hitting like 300k, 400k, 1 million even, hashtag Tony. But I just kind of want to highlight a free-to-play perspective, right? Hu Tao is probably one of the best DPS in the game, but there's stuff that a lot of people don't talk about. One thing I've noticed, especially when messing around in the Abyss, is she's a squishy character. Even though she has a lot of life, she can easily get smacked around. And the thing is, when she's below 50% HP, she gets a huge pyro damage bonus, right? So ideally, you want to keep her below 50% HP. But that comes at a risk because you get, you're get you very vulnerable to getting one shot by any, any monster, especially in Floor 12 Abyss. It's a lot better when you're paired with a character that can protect you with a shield. And the best one that comes to mind is Zhongli, but a lot of you might not have Zhongli, so that's something just to keep in mind. What happens is if you guys have a healer, say you're running Bennett heal, or maybe you're running like whoever you're running healer, maybe you're running Barber healer or Bennett healer. The thing is, if you pop your E and say you go down to low HP and you're about to die, Right, as soon as you switch to your healer to heal up and you switch back, who tells on this cooldown? And trust me when I say this, when she's on this cooldown, she's not providing anything, right? Her auto attacks do no damage. When she's in this situation, whether her E is over and she has this like six seconds of absolutely nothing, or you just switched out to heal and then you switch back and she has like a 10 second cooldown. So it's very similar to Xiao, where when Xiao's burst is not up, he's not doing a lot of damage. But the thing with Xiao is, at least he has his E ability to back him up. But in Hu Tao's case, her E ability is what she's relying on. And you don't really want to use your burst out of nowhere because it's most optimally used when you're in your E ability. And that's why it's kind of worse for Hu Tao because she relies so much on her E ability. When it's not there, she doesn't have anything. All she has is basic attacks. Whereas Xiao at least still has his E ability. And in my opinion, it's better to have another DPS that you can switch into to do a lot of damage when Hu Tao is in that state. But from a free-to-play perspective, overall, Hu Tao is one of the best DPS in the game, especially when paired with someone like Sing Chu, who can do a butt-ton of damage. I just want, I just don't want you guys to fall for this trap where you guys see these huge numbers, you guys see these content creators hitting these huge numbers, like you saw at the beginning of my video, and you guys feel left out and want to pull for Hu Tao. And then when you use her, because you're a free-to-play player, you're not hitting as hard. You're hitting like half the damage. So I wanted to give a non-biased perspective on Hu Tao, and I hope I really did that. And if you guys still want to pull, good luck. Again, she's a really, really top tier DPS, even at C0 with free to play weapons. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys.